Hi everyone, Mayor Drew Dilkins here, and I know you are saying, Drew, why are you standing in a washroom doing a Mayor's Minute? But those of you who watch the Mayor's Minutes know that at the end, I always say, if you'd like to go somewhere or see something behind the scenes in the city of Windsor, drop us a line and let us know. And John did just that. He says, Drew, COVID has been a crappy situation for so many in the city. Can you show us what happens and where the water goes when we flush the toilet? Let's go take a look. Every time you turn on the tap, the water comes through some municipal treatment facility, but the wastewater that's generated, that travels through underground pipes to reach the plant where it goes through a complex series of filtration systems that removes everything from large solid waste to microscopic pathogens that get killed using UV lights. The Lou Romano plant is capable of treating 273 million liters of water. That's the equivalent of all the water in more than 100 Olympic-sized swimming pools every single day. That capacity is sometimes exceeded when we have major rainstorms and lake levels are high as they are now. The plant simply doesn't have the capacity to handle all the excess stormwater that seeps into the system from these big rainfall or overflow events. What happens is the water gets backed up and with nowhere to go, the water causes problems like basement flooding. And that is why Windsor City Council unanimously approved our $4.9 billion sewer and coastal flood protection master plan. This ambitious plan outlines realistic and achievable short and long-term solutions to our overland and basement flooding challenges, and it sets a blueprint for modernizing and strengthening our sewer system. Some of the long-term goals of the sewer master plan call for increasing the sewer system storage and downstream capacity, which together will help minimize the flow of stormwater to our treatment system by diverting that water to the river, leading to fewer system overloads and backups. The plan will take decades to fully implement, but the good news is, we've already started to apply many of the recommendations, which means every year our sewer system is becoming incrementally more resilient to the effects of climate change. For more information on the Sewer Master Plan, please visit weatheringthestorm.ca and to learn more about the Lou Romano plant, call 311 or visit citywindsor.ca.